How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again with a video regarding the next update for Horizon 4. Now as you know, every month I do a video straight after the live stream that Forza do and I just basically talk about everything new so you don't have to sit through the hour long live stream. Well this video isn't exactly that, however, there's going to be quite a lot in this video that is, is interesting, you know, leaks... Um, possible clues to the next update and some of it's even technically confirmed as well. There's two kind of main topics I want to talk about. One of them is regarding Forza Motorsport 7 and things that that game has just received that we may get as well because there's a habit of that happening. And the second one is Forza Horizon 4. There's been quite an interesting image shared on the Playground Games Twitter that I want to look further into for some clues for the next update. But we'll look at that in a minute. First of all, I want to tell you what Forza Motorsport 7 has just received in an update as of yesterday. As you'll know, obviously Forza Motorsport 7 is the latest Forza Motorsport game. And there's been a tendency to, for when Forza Motorsport 7 gets some new stuff, we get that stuff as well. Like the Mustangs that have just been released, the RTR ones. Well, Forza Motorsport 7 just received an update. And in that update, there was some random stuff like they got the McLaren Senna for free, which is cool. But there has just been a big engine sound update in, Her in Motorsport 7. They have changed lots of the Ferrari and the Lamborghini V12 sounds to sound a bit different because as you'll probably know, they sounded quite similar. I think the Aston Martin V12 engine sounds have been changed as well. And they've also changed, I'll actually quote this for you, they said, the team has also made engine audio updates to fix bugs and introduce new source material for several models, including Mazda 2 rotor engines and various Porsches and Nissan models. So to put it short, Forza Motorsport 7 has received a large amount of engine updates and engine sound changes to Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Aston Martins, Nissans, Porsches and Mazdas. I've had a look myself and the Lamborghini Aventador sounds a bit different, the Porsche Carrera GT, the Ferrari FFX, FFF, blah, 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 FXXK, the Aston Martin Vulcan, stuff like that, they all sound different now. But my point is, I wonder if we're going to get a large Horizon 4 update to do with engine sounds as well, because I think Forza Motorsport 7 was better than Horizon 4 anyway, and if they've improved from Motorsport 7 even more, Hopefully Playground Games realise that that was a good idea and they start to do it on Horizon 4 as well. So I think what we can all do as a community, now this has happened to Forza Motorsport 7. So what I want us all to do is in the description I have linked a specific thread on the Forza Motorsport forum which is based on Forza Horizon 4 feature requests and I want all of us to go on there and reply engine sounds. I want us to tell them to do what Forza Motorsport 7 just did and update the car sounds. Maybe they've already got it in the works, but I think it's still something that Horizon 4 really does need and if Motorsport 7 had just got it, let's all go to the thread in the description below and reply and suggest that they update the car sounds just like they did for Motorsport 7 because we need it. We really need it and Motorsport 7 has just got it. Now another exciting thing I want to talk about is actually something that's quite strange actually. Yesterday I had a prediction video talking about my predicted DLC cars and believe it or not, one of the predictions that I said is technically confirmed now. On Forza Motorsport 7 the Forzathon icon is this and believe it or not that is the front wheel of an Apollo IE, one of the very cars I predicted could be able to come. So to be honest in my opinion that there's no other reason they would put that there as to give us a clue that that car is coming. So I believe that the Apollo IE is coming to Forza Motorsport 7 very shortly. And if it's in Motorsport 7, that means that it has a very high chance of coming to Horizon 4 as well. Could we see it in the next festival playlist? I think so. So, so far, we may see some engine sound updates in Horizon 4. And we could very likely see the Apollo IE come to Horizon 4 as well because it's basically coming to Motorsport 7. They've basically shown us it. Now that's enough about Forza Motorsport 7 now. Now we can talk about the actual Horizon 4 news, or even clues, I should say. On the Playground Games Twitter, there was an image posted just by one of the employees there that said, working hard on update 8. It was something like that. Obviously, update 8 is the next update, which we're going to see in, I think, two weeks from now. And here is the image in question. Now... Just by looking at it straight away, you can see that there is a lot to see on this. I mean, you can see an Xbox One dev kit there and blah, blah, blah. But 
I think this image is scattered with clues because if we zoom in on the whiteboard, we can see some interesting things. For example, at the top, there's a bit of text that says remove free roam rush. Now, if you don't know what free roam rush is, it's obviously part of the adventures and some people don't really like it. So, I mean, that's a pretty big clue there that they may be removing free roam rush from the adventures and so on um, in the next update eight because it's right there on the whiteboard and I think they've wanted, they want to give us these clues for a reason. Other things we can see on the whiteboard is this text right here. This actually says Drift Adventure. Now we actually got some information on this in the past updates that's just been, update seven live stream. They mentioned the Drift Adventure and we can see that it's on the screen right now. It says Drift Adventure. So I can say that that's pretty much partly confirmed as well that Drift Adventure could be in the next update as well. Now there's lots of other things on this page like the monitors for example, the middle one, that, I mean I've seen some people say that that's at just the normal Horizon Festival but to me I can't tell. Just take a close look at that. Is that a part of the current map or is that a part of possibly the next expansion? I mean I cannot tell. Personally I think it could very well be the, the current festival and it's just the normal map but but I don't know, something just doesn't look right about it. I don't remember there being those mountains in the distance and it just doesn't look right. I'm not confirming it. I personally think it is the current map, but I don't know, something about it just doesn't seem right. And there's got to be a reason that it's that that they put in the photo. Do you know what I mean? So do take a look at this image yourself. I'm going to try and link the image in the description to the, the from the Twitter page. Take a look at it and see if you can find any clues on it. There's all sorts of angles and graphs and random things on there which I don't really think have any meaning. I mean, like here, they've just hand drawn a graph with no numbers or anything. That's clearly just to throw us off. I think there's some good information on here that we possibly haven't seen yet. I mean, up here, there's a car surrounded by a Pokemon ball. I mean, is that going to be a Pokemon update? I doubt it, but... I think there's lots of things here to throw us off, but there's also lots of cool information here as well. So yeah, to catch up on what we might be seeing in the next couple of weeks from the next update, we could possibly be seeing some new engine sounds, possibly the V12s like Motorsport 7. It's very unlikely, but if we start to suggest it, maybe they'll do the same. We could very, very likely see the Apollo IE come to Horizon 4. In the update, we could see Drift Adventure being added. We could see Free Roam Rush being removed. And also something else about this image that catches my eye is the senior designer for Playground Games retweeted this with a little thinking emoji as if he was thinking, hmm, you know what I mean? Something just doesn't seem right about this image. I think there's some stuff in this image to, to look at. As usual, guys, two weeks from now when the official live stream is, when they officially tell us what the update is about, you can expect a video from me the exact same day, basically talking about everything new that's being added to the game. So let me know what you're expecting in this next upcoming update. We've actually got a lot more information about it than we usually do. We've obviously got the image that Playground Games has given us and all of the clues from Falls Motorsport 7 as well, which have a high chance of being carried over to Horizon 4, which is going to be pretty cool. But anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.